three reason why you are scared of digital tablet well almost every artist have these issues when they first get a digital tablet like me i have this issue when i first of all get a digital tablet at some extent i feel like i just waste my money on getting a digital tablet but after using it for about a month or two months i find out that okay it's a whole lot better making use of a digital tablet than making use of a mouse so today i'm going to give you three tips of why you are scared of digital tablet and how you are going to fix them so the first one is going to be the pressure now when you first get a digital tablet you find it difficult making use of the pressure sensitivity because it's a whole lot of new dimension because when you make use of a pencil to draw on paper it's not like you're applying, applying much pressure for you to get a thicker line but in most cases for you to get a thicker line you can switch your pencil or you can press hard to get a thicker line when you are making use of a pencil but now coming into the digital tablet aspect when you try to make a thick line you have to press hard on the tablet and most times when you want to make a light line you have to press light here comes the problem with the pressure now if you have if, if you are just a beginner to what the graphics tablet this is where you are going to have problem when you grab any brush in whatever program you are using at first like just say the hard ground pressure brush in photoshop when you grab it for the first time and you say you want to make a light line you might just press hard at the beginning as you can see right now you can just press hard at the beginning and this is not really exactly what you want so i'm going to give you a way of how you can fix this so option one is for you to what turn off the pressure sensitivity of your paint by doing that you can go over to your brush settings in photoshop and when you go over to your brush settings in photoshop you go down into shape dynamics and you click on the word size jitter and set that to what off at this point you can now sketch without the word pressure in Photoshop, but at some other extent you are really going to need the pressure when you decide to draw directly into Photoshop so sometimes it is really advisable to keep the pressure on and practice most times because for me I always keep the pressure on when I practice with the, word, the tablet now I started up with making use of Adobe Illustrator and then it was really really frustrating to me when I started making use of the pressure it feels like okay I got a digital tablet that I can't use. This is a whole lot of waste. I just waste my money and get into something that I can't make use of. Another way you can fix this in Photoshop is by what going light on your tablet. Now, as you can see, it's not really going really well. So now the second option of how you can what fix this pressure issue from your tablet is by going into your tablet settings. So whatever tablet you are making use of, go into the tablet. For now, I'm making use of the Ace Pen tablet. So I'm going to go into the Ace Pen tablet settings and go into the click sensitivity. When you click sensitivity, you want to set the pressure from light to heavy. Now setting the pressure on light, when you just click on a little on your tablet, it's really going to what? apply the hard pressure on your, what? your tablet. So when you make use of the heavy, and you click on what apply it's really good when you press light on your tablet the pressure is really really going to be light at this point you are controlling how hard you press on your tablet for you to get a thicker line so once once you are done with these settings go back into photoshop and try to see so now at this point you can see what's happening we can create we are now creating a better line and lastly on how you can fix the pressure sensitivity on your tablet you have to uh, decrease the size of your brush like i can set this down to what uh, to five so now when i start drawing you can see what i am having at this uh, point with the help of the word uh, the pressure settings from my tablet app or my tablet application which i can control the pressure now coming back into photoshop and decreasing the size of the brush helps you a lot in the word uh, the pressure options that is giving you problem now second way to what uh, second option we have and second issues we do have with our digital tablet it's the navigation now the navigation is one of the, uh, the problem we have so much with our digital tablet whenever you are making use of a mouse you can keep moving your mouse continuously when you move your mouse to the end part of the screen 
you can pick up the mouse and take it to the world the other part of the table and you will continue moving that is if you are a beginner and you really don't know how to make use of a mouse you can do that but in terms of digital tablet when you move to the ending of your digital tablet hoping for your mouse to be there when you come back to the beginning you find out that what your mouse cursor has gotten to the word the part you're placing your pen on your tablet oh, this is really really frustrating so the easy way to fix this is for you to what understand your tablet and understand your screen how are you going to understand your tablet and understand your screen when you look at the top of your tablet you are going to get four dots or four demarcation on your tablet it might be on yours it might not be on yours but i have that on mine and you can see that on the screen right now so when you look at what the upper part you are going to get a line when you look at the bottom part you are still going to get a line and when you look at other parts of the tablet you are going to get a line that is the first side of the tablet you are going to get the demarcation line showing you what the beginning and the ending of your word your area on your word tablet so now the easy way for you to understand this in your word tablet now the surface of your tablet where you have those four demarcation indicates it part of your screen so the first one at the top left of your tablet indicates the upper part of your screen then the second one at the bottom left of a tablet indicates the lower part of your word left screen why the one at the word the upper part of the the upper right of your tablet indicates the word the upper part of the upper right of your tablet of your screen and why the last one indicates the lower part of your word screen and the lower part of your tablet so now once you are in those areas you are what moving across your screen the moment you get to the ending of your tablet you find out that you're already getting to the end of your screen when you move into the other part you have gotten to the what the end of your screen when you move up you are getting to the end of your screen and when you move down you're getting to the what the bottom part of your screen so that is the easy way on how you can fix it fix the word the navigation by understanding your screen i know it's really hard at the beginning but i really feel this so much it's so much pain for me because no one really showed me how to make use of my digital tablet when i first of all bought the tablet i have to what, strive hard to know how to make use of this tablet and lastly the last one we are going to take is to what the digital tablet it's more expensive than a mouse yeah you know you can get a mouse a thousand bucks or less yeah just in my own country you can get mouse at the rate of probably 800 naira 300 and 500 naira and you can also get a thousand naira you can get a thousand five or yeah, depending on the kind of mouse you want or and how much you invest in your computer life or your digital life so like me i spend so much in my digital life and i can get a mouse of 4,000 naira or higher more than what I expected because I know what I want and I get exactly what I want but coming to a digital tablet you can get a digital tablet of 30,000 naira and above in my country but there are some cheaper tablets which you can make use of or which you can get you can browse through some site like Jumia Amazon so you can get the cheaper tablet and the smaller tablet there's a tablet I get recently and that tablet is a little bit cheaper than what it's supposed to be. That is the Vike S40. Yeah, the Vike X40. But the tablet is really, really small. I couldn't make use of the tablet. I just kept the tablet in the house and I just decided to make use of the pen because the pen supports 8,000 pressure capacity or whatever it's been called i really don't know but the pressure sensitivity on the pen is more higher than the current digital tablet i'm making use of the pressure sensitivity in that pen so i switched over to the pen now comparing the both prices a digital tablet it's more costlier than a mouse now most artists will say to me mark why did you get a digital tablet when you can make use of a mouse to draw you first of all draw with a paper when you draw with a paper you scan it and you get it into photoshop then you trace with the pen too yeah that is really really right tracing with the pen too but most times when you feel like to draw directly into the world the system you just have to make use of a digital tablet you can't make use of a mouse to draw and most times drawing twice it's really going to be a big stress for you because when you draw on paper you might be really exhausted depending on how good you are and how frequent 
and how fast you are making use of paper when you get that paper you scan and in other words if you don't have scanner in your house and you don't have a smartphone with a nice camera to take a picture of what you draw what you've drawn you are going to uh, need to attend to you need to go to any cafe or wherever places you can scan or probably go to your friends and what we'll scan then what we'll bring it back to your house and then put it into your system then you start drawing or start tracing with your mouse and now when you start tracing with your mouse that is really going to take a whole lot of time right okay so when you are comparing most times when you are trying to compare the price between of digital tablet and a mouse it's really simple a digital tablet is more costly than a mouse now a price of one digital tablet can give you three mouse or more than three mouse it can give you a whole lot of gaming mouse can give you a mouse pad with a gaming mouse most of the prices of digital tablet it's really really costly so that's why most people i know don't buy digital tablet when they ask how long how how much did you buy a digital tablet i said i bought my digital tablet thirty thousand naira. wow that's a whole lot of money well you work and you earn the money most times it's not really about the work or earn the money it's all about your passion so this i'm going to leave this option now if you wish to uh, get a digital tablet go ahead and get a digital tablet forget about it being expensive or not expensive to you if it's what you want you go ahead and get what you want but for me i am going to recommend you getting a digital tablet if you know you want to draw but if you don't want to draw i'm going to advise you don't get a digital tablet because it's really going to be a waste of money to you because whatever you can do with a digital tablet you can use that or you can do that with a mouse and in just other words if you want an artist and you want to draw digitally get a digital tablet and if you think you are really really that buoyant enough and you have a lot of cash go for a display tablet that will be perfectly awesome but if you are not buoyant enough get a digital tablet and if you're not going into art and if you're not an artist and if you don't just want to make work easier for you then get a mouse and start working i would like to see the comment in the comment box to see your own opinion on these three options i've given to you guys and how you can work fix them i really love to hear from you guys so i hope you give me a comment and see the ones that help you a lot and let me know if you are getting a digital tablet why you are getting a digital tablet and how digital tablet is going to help you in whatever aspect you are doing because graphics designers artists make use of a world a digital tablet even 3d artists also make use of a digital tablet because most 3d softwares of now do support digital tablet depending on how you would map the keys and your settings so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i really get and i really help you guys solve some issues you have been having with your digital tablet and if i do make sure to hit the subscribe button not just the subscribe button ring the bell icon so that you get notified anytime i drop a new ad